Oh my god. It's rapping. My love rapping. I'm in hell. For this First there's COVID-19 and there's Mike Love rapping. Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I got my wine ready. This is a series I've been doing called Does This Album Suck? And more than a few of you have suggested I listen to the Beach Boys Summer in Paradise, which I've never heard. And I was just on RateYourMusic.com where fans rate and review music. It's an excellent site. Let's see here. Out of five, a rating of five, Pet Sounds has a 4.19. And Summer in Paradise which was released in 1992 has a 1.06 so it's not looking good. I have a feeling I'm going to say this this album sucks but unlike the other uh, videos I've done for Metallica and U2 and whoever after each song I'm going to stop it's on the, by, by the way it's you can't buy it or or it's hard to it's expensive to buy and it's not on Spotify. So I'm going to listen to it on YouTube, the full albums on YouTube. And what I'm going to do is, between every song, I'm going to stop and I'm going to review the song and talk about it. And I'll drink some wine. I might have to get more wine. And I speed up the video. I don't know how I'll do this, but I'll speed up the parts where I'm listening to the music. Or I'll edit it out. But I promise I'm listening to the whole album. So here we go. I've got my uh, t-shirt on for protection. <laughs> and uh, my pet sounds CD handy in case they want to switch over to pet sounds. So here we go. And apologies for the fans. I'm going to turn this fan on too to make it even louder. So here we go. Wish me luck. There's a world where I love more than my reasons do in my bed. Something like that. One of my favorite Beach Boys songs in my life. I do, do love, you know, a lot of the Beach Boys music. But I guess this doesn't have uh, Brian Wilson on. He had nothing to do with it. <laughs> But it's got lots of Mike Love and uh, that Stamos guy from Full House. I I hate Full House because when my sons were younger, they both used to like watching it, and it's really annoying. Just thought I'd bring that up. If either of my sons is watching, I'm just joking. <laughs> Here we go. It's like, uh, can you hear me? I can't hear myself. Sorry, I almost forgot to read a review. Let's read one review. A short one. Well, here it is. The nail in the coffin in the form of Mike Love's perfect summer album. Yeah, not quite, Mike. The fact that nobody could even be arsed playing any real instrument on the damn thing is telling up. Why bother listening? The answer is you shouldn't. Uh-oh. But if you do, you can join the rest of us fans in lamenting that the curtain wasn't closed two decades before this travesty reared its ugly head. Well, now I want to listen to it. <laughs> Now I have even less confidence. Make sure I'm recording. <clears throat> so the songs are Hot Fun in the Summertime, great song by Sly and the Family Stone, love Surfing. Is that a remake of the Beach Boys song? Uh, Summer of Love, Island Fever, Still Surfing, Slow Summer Dancing One Summer Night, 
strange things happen, remember walking in the sand, Lahana Aloha, Lahana Aloha, under the boardwalk. Well, that's a good song from the 60s, or, yeah, 60s. Summer in Paradise and Forever. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I hope it's as good as Led Zeppelin's physical graffiti. So first up is Hot Fun in the Summertime. That song sucked. It was so bad. I mean, it is a great song. The melody is there. As impossible as it can be. But it's so, uh, it's so 80s sounding with the uh, drum machines, the processed sound, just really bad 80s production and, and the vocals bomb, 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 bomb. Trying to, it, it's like a bad Beach Boys cover band. And as for Mike Love, overall, I like his vocals. I mean, with the Beach Boys. A lot of great songs, seriously. But this sucks. How's it going so far out there? And one thing I wanted to mention, I hope uh, I hope I get some comments below, and I might make a separate video at some point. I am seriously thinking of, uh, let's get closer. I'm seriously thinking at some point, you know, in the next few months, of starting up a Patreon page, like uh, Andy and Alex, who do have a great reaction channel on YouTube, but a lot of their uh, videos uh, for certain songs, they, they get uh, removed or whatever, or blocked. And so they started up a Patreon page, $1 per month, or $5 per month for members, and they can freely listen, and you can listen to them listening to the music. So if I was on Patreon, you guys could hear the crappy music I'm listening to. And so what do you think of that idea? It's not to make money, but uh, with Patreon and connected to, uh, I forget the other video site, it costs money, right, per month for, for the, uh, however much, how many gigs you use or whatever, but I'd love to do that in the future. So let me know if you'd be interested, like a dollar or two a month. Twenty dollars. Here we go. Surf. Let's not go surf. Got a tear. I love it so much. I hate my glove. It is so bad, that song was even worse. It was so bad. You guys have to hear it on, on the old YouTubes. I don't, I might even not speed this video up. Uh, I don't know what I, you know, I'm always thinking here. But, <laughs> you're gonna see me swear during this video. I'm, and I'm not acting at all. Like, nothing is forced. Uh, it's just bad, bad, bad. Oh. And the songs are too long, too. That, that one was like, doesn't really have the times here, but I think it was like four minutes long, or close to it. Four minutes long. Yeah. I need more wine. I'm gonna get more wine. Let's get drunk together. Next up. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one because it's called Summer of Love. <laughs> cool, the drums. Oh, 
those processed vocals. Huh. Oh, please, please stop. Oh, please let it all stop. <laughs> it's getting worse. That was Mike Love rapping. And I'm, I'm actually... Wait, I think you, you might have seen me swear, seriously. It's like, way to screw up the Beach Boys legacy, Mike Love, and whoever else is to blame, John Stamos, from Full House, one of my all-time favorite shows. But, uh, I, I, I'm gonna get more wine soon, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have a party. We're gonna have a, a Beach Boys party. And remember to like this video. I deserve all the likes in the universe. And share this video. Share this on a Beach Boys fan page or something. I, I'm not gonna do it, because I'll be attacked. Because... But I love the Beach Boys overall, but this is, like I said, seriously, it's... Does he need the money? Like, why is he doing, like... I'll shut up. Next song. I might talk more when, once I start drinking more. But I'm not gonna get drunk. Don't worry. The next song... Ooh, Island Fever. That sounds like a good one. I wonder... I wonder if it would be as good as... Uh, let's see. Island Girl by Elton John. Hmm. Oh, I hear birdies. Oh, and processed drums really loud. It's like a Kokomo coffee. Oh, God. I, I've got a this sucks fever. In the dictionary, beside atrocious, should be island fever. But I think w what Mike Love was doing there was trying to make another Kokomo, because Kokomo was, you know, a big hit single. And I don't like the song, but that being said, it is a catchy song. I understand why it was so popular. But, I mean, Kokomo is a masterpiece <laughs> compared to island fever. And I just also want to say, uh, I apologize to Nickelback. I think Nickelback makes very good music compared to this one. Oh, what's next on the agenda? Oh, a song from Summer in Paradise. It is. Oh my god, another surfing. Still surfing. Good title for a song, Mike. Here we go. Hey, I'm looking good. was the least bad song on the album so far, but it was still bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is probably like halfway through almost. At least half, yeah, halfway through. <sighs> so after slow summer dancing, one summer night, I'm going to get a bit more wine. <laughs> Later tonight, I'll listen to this and smoke something funny. <sighs> Try to forget all this. Here we go. Slow summer, slow summer dancing, one summer night. Gonna make me cry. Those drums are so loud. Oh. Oh. So much echo on them. Sing it, Mike. Something slow. Oh, 
horn solo, my favorite. Foot, stop, tap. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I train. I try and have humor in these videos, but you don't need humor. All you, all you need to do is listen to the Beach Boys Summer in Paradise, and you'll have a laugh. That was... I, when, what was I thinking during that song? I've had some wine. I'm going to ask some more. I was thinking, what woman... First, you know, it's a love song about him dancing with a girl and everything. I don't know any woman that would be attracted to Michael Love. I'm not even attracted. Ah, oh, that fan feels nice. I mean, even, even, even the, uh, the album cover. Like, what the heck is that? It's a beach whale. Okay, I'm gonna get more wine. I'll be right back. Just stay there. Make sure you like the video and share it on a Beach Boys fan site on Facebook or wherever. They'll love it. They'll love it. Don't drink and listen to the Beach Boys Summer in Paradise. I'm seriously kind of. I mean, I'm, I was in a good mood. I'm kind of. I get mad. I get mad about music. I get mad about people that. You know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe you don't. <laughs> okay, next up is. Oh, this is a different title. There's no surfing in the summer. It's Strange Things Happen. Yeah, like, there's a good song on Summer in Paradise. The jokes never end on this channel. Oh! Ugh! Oh. It started out okay. Turn that down a little. This was the first album recorded on Mars. Oh. You might have noticed at the start of that song, the first 30 seconds or so, I actually didn't mind it. Even the production sounded not as bad as the other songs. And then <laughs> these, the drums kick in and it gets really loud. I had to turn, the, turn it down a little bit. Oh. I was, I was going to say, I had some warning. You know, the... Uh, you know, all the scandals in Hollywood and all that with that Epstein guy that, and his, uh, I don't know her name, Maxwell, whatever her name is. Uh, you know, and all, all of these creeps in Hollywood. What they should do, when they're in jail, they should play the Beach Boys Summer in Paradise on loudspeakers, like 24 hours a day for their jail so. that, That's That's a good idea. Uh, five songs to go. God help us all. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna drink all of this by the end. But don't worry, I don't drink and drive. I take, you know, I'm, I'm very serious when it comes to alcohol. I, I'm in the safety of my own home and I don't get too silly. I never get drunk, but I might today. Thanks to the Beach Boys, Summer in Paradise. Uh, what's next? Zip, okay. The next song is Remember Walking in the Sand. No, I don't remember walking in the sand. Now I gotta listen to it. Yeah, it's worse than I thought. Remember? Damn horn again. I have nothing against horns, just not in Beach Boy songs on the album Summer in Paradise. This isn't Bruce Springsteen.
Oh, there's drums. Oh. You see, when you say, oh, those drums, when you're listening to When the Levee Breaks by Led Zeppelin, that's different than all those drums when you're listening to the Beach Boys Summer in Paradise. Or cheesy background vocals and some guy singing love is it like love? So bad. Is that John Stamos from that TV show Full House that I love? I make myself laugh sometimes. I'm a funny guy. This might be the worst. Oh, oh that, that was... And it's not the wine. That was as bad as anything else on the album. Could have been the worst. You know what, I was just gonna say, I, I did a, uh, this is the album suck for U2's pop. Compared to this, this is, this is Abbey Road. I apologize to you too. And I apologize to you too. <laughs> what? What song is next? I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke three doobies at the same time and listen to Kraftwerk's Radioactivity. I'm just joking. Next song is ah, La Hanna La, La Hona. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be a crappy song. La Hanna Aloha. Ah. Take it away, Mike. Oh, not bad. Actually, not bad at the moment. Okay. Is this a, actually a good song? This is the, the a day in the life of Summer in Paradise. I actually don't mind this song. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a breakthrough. And it's not the wine, I always say that. That actually was listenable. It wasn't bad at all. It had some really good guitar work in it. I'm not sure who... If, I don't think Mike Love was singing the main lead in it. Uh, but it was actually a... Deep, it wasn't a great song, but it was good compared to everything else on the album. So, I was just reading the comments here on YouTube. <laughs> this was Corey Feldman's biggest musical inspiration. <laughs> Ryan Wilson had pet sounds. Mike Love had summer in paradise. The end. <laughs> uh, the drum samples are straight from hell. Uh, Mike Love farts in his car and then parts it and sits there for a while just to smell it in tranquility. <laughs> That's not a good review. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we're having fun, aren't we? Did I mention to like this video? Share it on Facebook. Share it with all your friends and family and even people you don't know. And remember, in the seriously, I haven't forgotten. In the comment section below, meant, you know, where I talked in the beginning, where when I was more sober, about Patreon. I would love you guys to hear what I'm hearing as I'm doing the video. You know, YouTube, don't get me started. YouTube gets me going with stupid copy. We're sharing music. If I like something on YouTube and I hear it, I might actually go out and buy it. Ugh. I need a drink. Next up is Under the Boardwalk. That is a great song. Three, four, five. Oh my god, it's like four minutes long. Let's see how Mike Love butchers Under the Boardwalk. Boardwalk, I'm gonna take you for the boardwalk. I'm gonna take you for the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk, under the boardwalk, under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk,
fucking boring. So. Oh, Lord. It's so boring. Not me, it's on. That was bad. It's, it's, you know, Enter the Boardwalk is a great song, but they slowed it down and made it so crappy. And seriously, my phone kind of froze here. But I'll, I'll get back to this. It froze. See, there's my guys there. Andy and Alex. They're also on Patreon. That's, and that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do with my life. Have a Patreon page. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to figure this out. So next up will be, once I find it, Oh, there's only two songs left. Oh, this one is called Summer in Paradise. So that's at 37 minutes. He uses the lyrics fun, fun, fun in this song. Go away, my love. Surfing. So embarrassing. It sure is sad, my love. Toxic waste. More horn. The only way you could have Summer in Paradise is not to have the existence of the Beach Boys Summer in Paradise album. Recycle. Oh. Kokomo. Oh. The lyrics are so bad. The Madigan. This started out as fun. <laughs> oh my god. He used, the lyrics are so bad and he, you know, he uses other song lyrics in the song and he mentions Kokomo and I think fun, fun, fun and Oh, Eve of Destruction and all, all these great songs. Oh, I, I deserve a I deserve a thumbs up. I deserve a comment below. And I deserve a comment about starting up a Patreon page for one or two dollars per month. Would you be interested in it? Let me know. Then you could hear the crappy music I'm listening to. Now, the last song is called Forever. And I believe I read I was reading some other review earlier, and I believe John Stamos from Full House, one of my absolutely favorite TV shows, is doing the vocals for it. And actually, the, the review, uh, like it was a bad review for the album, but <laughs> they kind of didn't, they liked the song by John Stamos. So maybe I will too. Take it away, John Stamos. From the TV series Full House. smiling because it's almost over. <laughs> it's John Stamos. He's in that TV show, Full House. It's over. Thank you, Jesus. John Stamos, if you're watching this, uh, better turn it off. <laughs> uh, that song sucked. Actually, uh, no, the vocals weren't bad by John. I, I, I'm pretty sure that was John Stamos, and he, good singer, better than me. Uh, but yeah, it was just the cheesy, typical 80s bad production 
song. Oh, I'm done. Uh, I could ramble on for hours on end, as you know, but I won't. I'll just say, does the Beach Boys Summer in Paradise suck? Yes, it does. Except for one song, which was okay. And it is truly It is truly, it doesn't matter what band or artist, it is truly one of the worst, if not the worst, album I have ever heard in my life. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.